Hello, this is Jeffrey Tucker from the Laissez Faire Book Club and Laissez Faire Books. I wanted to tell you about a book called Idea of America, edited by William Bonner and Pierre Lemieux. It's a fascinating work. It's a collection of essays that seek to, seek to capture what is the very core of the American idea. Uh, what is it? Why people believed in it? Why it inspired the world? What was truly revolutionary about the United States <clears throat> and about the experiment of American liberty? And the answer is uh, liberty itself. Now, that might sound like a cliche, um, but the problem is that many people talk about liberty and they don't really think about what the substance of it really amounts to. And you can know this because today, um, in the United States, we have devolved in a way to become a kind of authoritarian society, a, a, a society where every single thing is regulated in your life. It's hard to run across any good or product or service that isn't heavily imposed upon or taxed uh, by the government, uh, where our every moves are being watched, where civil liberties as they were once known are quite frankly no more, and where in many ways uh, our society has become a kind of police state. Uh, the, the police themselves used to be part of the civilian order, no longer. Uh, they they're seem detached from the rest of society. And it's true of the state in general. Uh, we've come about with this result very slowly, one step at a time. Uh, one, uh, one regulation, one bad monetary policy at a time, one uh, spending bill at a time. It's, it's, it's added up over the course of a century to the point that we're really reaching uh, a crisis moment in, in, our, in our history. So the most important thing that we can do right now is recapture that vision of, of American liberty as it was understood in the colonial period, in the early years of the Republic, just after the Revolution and just before, and throughout the 19th century. Um, but how are you going to do that? Well, this book called Idea of America is, to my mind, a, a brilliant idea. It's a collection of articles, really. It's something like of the sort you might buy in the Smithsonian. But the difference is that this collection has writings that you've never heard of before. Um, things that illuminate uh, our problem and the core of the American idea as very few things you've ever read. So we have important writings by uh, founding fathers like uh, Thomas Jefferson and Madison, but it also includes great writings by uh, people that I, to my mind, are overlooked, like Thomas Paine, who was really the ideological uh, driving force behind the whole revolutionary movement. And uh, we have 19th century observers like Alexis de Tocqueville and Lord Acton, and also David Thoreau and uh, Emerson, and uh, Mark Twain, you know, a, a fabulous excerpt from Mark Twain. One of the wonderful essays in here I had never read, uh, actually many of the essays in here I'd never encountered before. There were Many of them were surprises to me, but there's a brilliant essay written uh, by Benjamin Franklin. This is right between the period in which, after the American Revolution and before the U.S. Constitution, when the United States was under the Articles. And he writes this letter from France, and it was published in French and in English. Um, as a kind of appeal to uh, the people of Europe to come to the United States. And why should they come to the United States? Uh, so he begins to describe uh, what they'll find in the United States. And what he says is there, there are not any privileges. So if you're a privileged aristocrat who's unwilling to, to work, unwilling to make a, a contribution to the social order, don't bother. You're not going to be well taken care of in the United States. This is a society without any privileges for anyone, no titles, no government protections whatsoever, but neither are there any barriers uh, for anybody, um, no matter what your profession is um, of any sort. So you've got an infinite possibility of social mobility. Uh, of course, you could also fall to the bottom if you're, if you're, not, if you're not up to it, but um, if you're willing to take the risk, America uh, offers you more than you could possibly ever get in the old in the old world, of the, which is a society based on class and caste. In, in, in America, it's a society of the bourgeoisie, uh, hard workers, and there's opportunity for absolutely everybody. And in the same in the same vein, I'm, I'm very impressed by an essay in here by H. L. Mencken, written um, I think about the year 1920, and it's called. 
what, what is the essence of, 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 of the American? What is the true American spirit? And he, he begins to investigate this. Is it, is it about money grubbing? Is it about materialism, as, as the Europeans often say, that we're just a people who, who uh, just love money and will do anything for it? No, he says that's, that's not it at all. That, that in the United States, uh, money um, are, is just a means to an end. And what is that end? And Mencken's, Mencken's essay, of course, H.L. Mencken was one of the great, brilliant essays of, uh, essays of all time. But he says, look, the core of the American spirit is the belief in the possibility of social mobility. That nothing's going to stop anybody from achieving, no matter where you start in life, you can achieve the highest height. And he points out, and he's right again in 1920, that there were, there were um, you know, the, robber, the so-called robber barons, or the, the aristocrats of the 1890s, were um, all came from uh, day labor type families. They all have stories of how they started as, um, you know, the most menial possible jobs at a young age and became aristocrats. And and then Mencken points out in the same in the same way that there are seeming aristocrats that uh, are today, you know, day laborers because they weren't able to sustain their accomplishments. So there's a, a kind of a ceaseless. Uh, turning of the social order in America, all based on this on this this idea that um, anyone, everyone has a right to take a risk to achieve something wonderful. Um, it's an inspiring essay, and I, I there are a lot of theories about what is the core of America. I think this essay by H. L. Mencken gets it as right as anything I've ever seen. I found it extremely compelling. But my point is this. As you're going through these essays, one by one, and they really should be read maybe one essay a day so that you can really fully absorb the reality, um, you get a picture of a world that we don't know uh, anymore. Uh, a world of, of opportunity, of, of infinite freedom, and um, infinite uh, possibility where your dreams really can come true. And why? Why can they come true? It's because um, in the United States, the government, as Franklin said, you know, uh, has no power and no money. Uh, it doesn't have the ability or the, or the willingness to stop you. That's a very different world from the world we live in today. So why is it important to read these essays? And I think there's, there's two reasons. One is to get a picture of what the dream was and to understand profoundly what it is that we've lost. Um, too often, we don't think about that. We just go about our lives and accept the world as, as it is. This book helps you understand um, what once was, what the dream once was, and what the possibilities once were. So why is that important? Just to reflect, just to uh, an intellectual understanding of it, uh, so you can kind of be depressed? You know, no. The point is that you have to um, get the dream to understand it and absorb the ideas so that you can implant it in your own mind, um, so that you can begin to work and for and imagine a possible future that could be ours uh, with, with, a, with, a, with dramatic changes in the way things are going. So the point of the book is to inspire you and to inspire anyone. I can't even imagine a better civics text. Um, there are a lot of books on, you know, how does the American government operate? You know, what is, what is, what is American society like? Uh, they all suppress uh, the, the core message you're going to get in, in this wonderful book. So I hope it achieves a, a gigantic circulation. I'm especially excited that um, the Laissez Faire Books has put this book out in an ebook edition, uh, which you can buy at, uh, for $9 at uh, Let's Say Fair Books, or you can get it in physical form if you want that. Um, however, the best possible way to get the book is actually to sign up for the Let's Say Fair Club. It's uh, $10 a month, and then every week you get a new ebook delivered to you for free. And you get uh, videos, you get um, discussion forums, and you get a little society of liberty to discuss these ideas with where you can meet people and, and, uh, and start cultivating a nice uh, world for yourself where people share, who share your ideals can, can talk and think together. Um, so that's the Laissez-faire Club.
sign up and it'll be delivered right to your e-reader, to your iPad, to your iPhone, to your Kindle, whatever it's going to be. In any case, uh, the book is Idea of America and I highly recommend it. Um, it'll, it'll make you think about the world in a completely different way and that's the beginning of something wonderful. Thank you for listening.